Hello, 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 fashionistas. Welcome to another installation of five to 15 minutes of fashion with yours truly, Nina Johnson. If this is your first time here, thank you for joining me. I am your resident logo ho. Um, and we're gonna talk about all kinds of unnecessary things that we can spend our hard earned money on. Also, if this isn't your first time here, welcome back. Congrats to you for making bad life choices and joining me again. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe notification, subscribe button and the bell notification so you can be in the know for all things fabulously logo hoed, product junkied out. So today I wanted to probably, I'm gonna keep this one down, okay? Probably, maybe, I don't know. I'm gonna keep this one shorter, possibly, because I just wanna talk about ways to make your fast fashion look expensive or ways to make clothes that are incredibly expensive look more expensive. Some of the tricks that I do. Now today I am, again, logo hoed out, so um, I probably should have worn something a little more appropriate, but this is what I wanted to wear today. So, you know, just bear with me. Um, but we're gonna jump right in and get started. Let me see if I can find my list here. I'm so prepared. I'm not prepared. Maybe I should cut this part out. I'm gonna cut this. I'm back and I'm prepared. I'm not really sure why I've got the finger guns going today. I'm not really sure what's going on with that, but here we are. So, um, also you guys, I have finger guns and like super bad allergies today. I feel like Wendy Williams with the Q-tip getting like my tears, but I've been sniffing a lot today. Like I blow my nose and nothing really comes out. This is TMI. I'm not really sure what's happening today with like my eyes watering. So if you see eye boogers or nose boogers, please refrain from commenting below. And some of you guys get a little too savage in the comments, but let me say this. I'm gonna say this and then I'm gonna get back on track. Okay, I am not an influencer. This is not, I don't do this for a living. I do this for fun. I kind of do this because I think it'd be a great way to kind of have a, like, I don't know, a fashion encyclopedia. Am I dating myself? That my daughter can go back and look at. When I'm old and gray, I could be like, girl, I used to be snatched. And so she can go through and look at her mommy and it's kind of like a way to document our adventures. And so that's what I'm using social media for. But when I find really cool crap, I want to share it with you. And some of you are in the comments just getting your whole extra life thinking you can talk any kind of way. But I just want you to be clear that I will use my finger like and block you and delete you. Like I don't need the followers. I love the people who follow me. Thank you. I appreciate it. But I am not an influencer. I'm a stylist, I'm a mother, and I'm a gabber, and I wanna share with you the things that I find. So get crazy in those comments and you will get blocked and deleted. Thank you. Please don't try me, try Jesus, or you will catch these hands. And by these hands, I mean this finger button because again, I don't fight because I don't wanna go to jail and you know, orange isn't my color. Okay, back on target after I decorate. Did I tell you guys what I was wearing today? I mean, you clearly see what I'm wearing today. I'm in a Fendi. Silk Fendi pajama shirt. I'm doing too many logos. I have on LV earrings. It's team too much. Um, a Gucci belt. I have on a pair of frame denim that keeps your like fupa all sucked in. I love a good high-waisted straight leg jean. Um, and I have on this Jacques Mousse. Isn't this Jacques Mousse? I'm gonna zoom in. Jacques Mousse necklace. It's so cute. Let's purse on it. Thought it was adorable. Okay, on to what we're talking about today. After all of that, I hope you're still with me. Like, please stay with me. Uh, I am gonna give some good tips. So ways to make your clothes that are not expensive, like look expensive, how to make everything look like it's haute couture or, or more expensive, you know, without like doing the actual labels. So first up, you need to research the trends. Your girl put up a really great video last week about like trends that we're seeing on the runway for 2020. So be on trend. If you're gonna buy things from fast fashion, try to get things that are more trendy. Like right now, bold colors and puffy sleeves and lots of fringe are on trend. So when you buy things that are fast fashion, make sure you're not doing like two seasons ago trends. So be knowledgeable about the trends um, because it's inevitable that fast fashion will copy the runway they're a couple beats behind, but you want to make sure that um, you don't stay as behind. Like as soon as the new stuff gets released, you cop it, you rock it, and you look fresh and on trends. Um, next, when you're shopping for fast fashion, things that you want to look expensive, you want to buy good fabrics. So try to stay clear of those sisters, Polly and Esther. Um, so buy things that are good fabrics. You want to buy cottons, maybe wool blends. You could even do um, like affordable cashmeres from 
Banana Republic or Mango or Zara. Zara has great cashmere. I, I tend to do a lot of my fast fashion at Zara and at Mango. I feel like they're quality. I think you call it like high street fashion. Um, it's going to be a little bit better than say a Banana, Banana Republic, an H&M. And I call it H&M like hit or miss because I just feel like it's so hit or miss sometimes. So consider fabrics and also try not to get like random prints um because that'll make things look super inexpensive too when you buy fast fashion try to go solids and not get anything that's like too crazy because a crazy print and a polyester just reads dated and printed and dated and and inexpensive and that's not what we want to do um, the set, the third thing I do for my fast fashion, fast fashion to make things look expensive, I get everything tailored. No matter what it is, I get it tailored to fit me because a two is not a two is not a two. Everybody's size two is going to be a little bit different. And I have a girlfriend who's a size two and our body types are completely different. And I mean, we can share clothes, but we still have to get the same size things. If it's our own item, we have to get it tailored appropriately for us. And so... Remember that even if you buy fast fashion, you get a, for me, like I bought, a, for example, and I'm going to bring this up twice, um, there's a video where I ordered this navy blazer that I was selling online, and it looks a lot like Balmain. But for me, what like took it to the next level was getting it altered to fit me perfectly so that the, I got princess seams taken in so that it fit to my body really well. And I think that's what makes expensive clothes look so great is because they're like, they're better tailored and so you want to take that time and you can buy a $100 blazer spend 20 bucks and get it altered to perfection and then that blazer in turn looks like Balmain looks like a $2,000 blazer and all you spent was $120 so consider getting things altered um, the next thing is treat your fast fashion like it's Chanel wash it inside out let it air dry, um, send it to the dry cleaner. One of the things that I do with all of my fast fashion blazers, before I even wear them, I send them to the dry cleaner. I don't know what hoodoo hoodoo witchery they do there, but it comes back and it's like much more structured. And I don't know, I'm just kind of into it. So um, I think it fits better once I've gotten it dry clean, like the fabric just seems sturdier. I'm not really sure what that's about, but taking it to the dry cleaner, I think that if I could reorder these in number, um, in order of importance, like getting things dry cleaned would be number one. And you don't have to get it, I mean, dry cleaned every time you wear it, but that first dry clean kind of like brings the life out of it. So um, definitely get your things dry clean and treat your inexpensive clothes like you paid good billions of dollars, like washing inside out. Also, when you buy inexpensive jeans, you want to wash them with vinegar too. It'll help the color stay rich and keep it from like bleeding onto other things because even expensive dark wash denim has a tendency to like bleed um, up against your handbag. So if you wash them in vinegar inside out and you let them air dry, that kind of sets the dye and you get less color bleeding. It also makes um, your, the, extends the life of your jeans. Then uh, invest in a couple of, now this is not necessarily an inexpensive item, but investing in a couple of um, luxury or quality accessories really elevates an item. Make sure you own like a real black leather pump, even if it's not um, a, a luxury brand, like a, a luxury brand like a Louboutin or a YSL, like invest in a nice leather shoe. Um, maybe in every color, like a, a tan, and so you have a nice leather shoe because that always will elevate an outfit. And then invest in, get some, get a pair of designer earrings, and if not a pair of designer, get a pair of earrings that's a good quality with a nice weight on it. Maybe get a, a real pair of gold earrings that cost like $100. Don't just, you know, I mean, I've, I'm, I've done it before. I've gone to the H&M and got the jewelry, but that jewelry is so light, it just reads inexpensive. So if you want to elevate an item, it's really easy if you just start your accessories, um, start you a luxury kind of accessories piece, and then you can add those a luxury accessories closet and then you can add those to your fast fashion and elevate a look you add you know a gucci or chanel earring or jacques mousse jacques mousse has this in an earring and it's super cute and i'm gonna own it so but invest in a nice earring and you can get those earrings 
if you're not super creeped out by it. And a lot of the clip-ons are fine and you can clean a pierced ear, but you can get them consigned for, I mean, I got a pair of Gucci earrings consigned. They actually have been worn before, so yay to me. But they retail for 600 and I got them for 300 So consider that too. Consider um, a logoed belt. Consider um, bracelets and earrings that are logoed and then add those things into your fast fashion to elevate the look. And you know, you can always, you can't go wrong with a nice designer bag or a designer shoe, like a black Louboutin is great. Um, the YSL Opium Pump. So adding in a couple of designer items to your fast fashion always elevates the look. Um, so this is one of my, okay, if, so if I could put them back again in order of importance, have, had I had like the foresight to do that, I would have put this a second under, um, what was my first thing, dry cleaning. So like another thing that I do, um, I really don't have, I've been blessed to be able to kind of stay thin throughout my life. Um, and we'll talk about that later, but, um, some of my thinness is from my anxiety. I have like tummy troubles from my anxiety, so I can't eat. I don't feel hungry all the time. So, I mean, it's kind of a blessing and a curse just to be completely, um, what's the word? To be completely, not candid. What's the word I'm looking for? Someone put it below. Transparent, there's the word. So I had to be transparent about it. But even though I'm thin, I wear shapewear because if you buy fast fashion, some of it tends to not be lined. And if you put on good shapewear under it, it stops like the light reflection and making the clothes look super thin and inexpensive. It makes things look more weighted. So get you some good shapewear. I like, um, Oh, I'm gonna put it below because I can't remember, but it's a it's a shapewear. Nubian skin. Nubian skin is great because they have shapewear for all the shades of brown. I love Nubian skin. I love a brand at Dillard's called Chantel, Chantelli, in that range. I'll put a link below. Um, but I love them too. They're fantastic. Um, great like kind of just sucking everything in and just adding another layer between the fabric and your skin to just make the fabric look more weighted and will make your outfits look more expensive. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. You guys, I think I did a 5 to 15 minutes of fashion in like less than like 15 minutes. This is like a first. It will probably never, oh no, I've, there's one more, but it's going to be fast. Um, avoid where is the full, th how do I, hold on, hold on, I'm gonna find it. Oh, avoid <laughs> things that copy a brand's logo. Like, shout out to my girl Karen from Real Housewives of Potomac, but she had on a Fendi knockoff that said Indy, not a good look. But you also wanna like be careful about the things that aren't that egregious. Like for example, Balenciaga has a logo sweater that has Balenciaga all over it. And then I think Pretty Little Things, let's see, is it Pretty Little Things? Yeah, it's Pretty Little Things. Um, pretty Little Things has a black sweater with Pretty Little Things written all over it. And you could do that, but I just feel like we all know that Pretty Little Things is very clearly trying to knock off um, Balenciaga. So don't do like, I, I love designer inspired and I feel like it's a nod and like a wink to the actual thing but you don't wanna do just like a straight knockoff of a very specific and easily recognized brand because that definitely brings down the total look and feel of your outfit. And then the last thing was, I think if you invest in a nice pair of denim, you can throw anything on with a nice pair of denim and like make it work. So um, I love like a nice frame denim or I think seven denim's great. Um, so invest in a pair of denim that, that fits you well. Um, and that always elevates an outfit. And as I, I celebrate it, and there's one last point. Consider your proportions. Whenever you are shopping for fast fashion, remember every trend ain't for everyone. And I've had this discussion before. I freaking love boyfriend jeans. Like I love when Beyonce like wears a boyfriend jean, but that girl's got hips. And so if you're gonna wear a boyfriend jean, like you gotta have some hips and some butt to like hold those suckers up. Like Sierra could do it. I mean, there are a lot of people who could do it. Your girl has the body of a 12 year old boy. 
So I can't do a boyfriend gene. 12 year old boys aren't anybody's boyfriend. You better go play with some Legos. That's my body. I got playing with Legos body. So I can't wear boyfriend jeans because they just slide down. And I really like that look. It's not for me. So remember to dress for your proportions. And just because they make it in your size doesn't mean it's for you. You guys, that is it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will be back um, next week with a fun video. Um, and I don't want to give the surprise away. So you guys make sure you join me next week for an all new edition of 5 to 15 minutes of fashion. Thank you so much for spending a couple minutes with me to talk about all the kind of ridiculous things that we don't need to spend our money on that we fully intend to spend our money on. You guys hug each other, love each other, stay well, and I'll see you soon dolls.